to the first lick, um, we're hitting fret 10 on the top string and fret 12 on the B string, plucking both strings together, and you can do a slide. That's pretty much hitting a B minor, um, and that's your position two, B minor pentonic. And we're going to position one, hitting fret seven, and I make these notes quite staccato as well. And then we're bending fret 10, and these are three triplets, and every time we hit fret 10, we're giving it a little curl, not a bend, just a little bit of a push. Then seven and seven, rolling my finger between those two strings. Between just E and B, really easy. Then bending fret 10 on B, vibrato. Then working my way down the pent uh, pentatonic scale, Pull off, 10 to 7, 9 on G, back to 7 on B, 9, 7 on G, finish on the root note, 9 on D. Okay, lick number 2, position 2 again, frets 10 and 12 in the top string, that lovely position where you can connect to position 1. So we're doing bending fret 12 on B. Bending a tone and a half. You can, you know, give it some emotion, a bit of feel, go into it quite slowly. Then 10 and 12. And 10. Then we are sliding 10 to 9 on G. 9 on D. Sorry, on G. Did I say G? 10 to 9 on G. 9 on D. 7 on G. 9 on D. You could either use your third finger for that or two fingers, up to you. And then we have a curl on fret seven to nine on D. We do that three times. Okay, that next lick is the lick everybody knows. Then nine on G, seven, seven on the B strings, B string, E string, back to B. Flat finger for that. And then bend 10 on B. Then we are back to the. Um, I didn't mention this in the last bit. When we slide from 10 to 9, this is our blues note. And I've, I've really tried not to make many blues notes in this and stick to all pentatonic, but there's a few times in the book, just a few, we use this pentatonic. And it's so common in blues, <laughs> hence it's called the blues note. So, it's a lovely, lovely thing to just quickly slide in and out of, or sliding in into that pentatonic note. Really, really cool. So, we're sliding from that blues note, 10 to 9, then 7. 9 and 9. Um, then we go 7 and 9 on G. Back to 7. 9 to 11 on G. Slide. Second finger plucking 10 on B. Back to 11 on G. 10 to 12 on B. And you can use that, do, you know, do different rhythms. I've done a different rhythm there from what I've done in the opening lick. You know, steal that phrase. Yeah, different rhythms. Okay, lick number four, my favorite one. Lots of bends. So position four, B minor. That A minor shape. Fret 14. So we're bending seven. Then we're doing a curl on 15. Sorry, seven. We're bending 17. Se uh, 15 with a little curl. 16 on G. Vibrato. And then 14, 16 on G. You can make them quite staccato again. Then slide 16. 
to be honest, just slide from anywhere. And then uh, 15, 17 again. 15 with your first finger bending. That's where you get that motion and that real bluesy sound. I love that. And then back to, yeah, so that, uh, from the top. Then back to the first uh, bit, bending 17 and 15. Curling. Then we go 14, 15 on the top two strings. 10 and 12. Seven and seven. I'm just, I'm actually, you know, you could even think notes of the B minor chord. Sorry, notes of the B minor chord. Or you could actually think notes of the pentatonic. Position four, position two, position one. Okay, and the final lick, a really easy one. Back to position two again. All on fret 12 on the B and E strings. So B string fret 12 twice. 12 on the E string, nice big bend with vibrato. We do that twice. Then we do 10, 12, 10, hammer on and pull off. Name for nice consistency, all the same volume. 12 on B, 10 on E. So after that, we go 12 again and 10 again. Sorry, just 12. So we go in total. Uh, and then we go down. It's the same notes, D, E, B. And we're going down the octave. We've talked about this before. Same notes down the octave. You can sound really cool, really good idea. So five, seven, five. Make sure that first finger is muting the lower strings. Seven on the big string. Back to five, back to seven. All right, hope you found that useful. Don't forget, check out the ebook.